Today I want to show you how to quiet your mind. Because if you want to include meditation as a part of your manifestation process, then you need to be able to quiet your mind. Because when you are in this meditative state and you don't allow yourself to create your future and your future self, the manifestation that you want to realize, because the chatter in your mind is distracting you so much, then you won't be able to create the pictures and the feelings and the ideas and the impulses that you need in order to manifest your dreams. That's why quieting your mind is so, so important. And because meditation is such an important part when it comes to your ability to manifest your dreams, I decided to base my program Money Manifestation Magnet on six powerful money manifestation meditations. And if you decide to invest in this program, you will find out that each meditation builds up on the next meditation. And in each meditation, I guide you to letting go of your limiting beliefs, to let go of your emotions, at least your negative emotions, and to replace these negative emotions with positive emotions. And to then create your future self, your wealthy and rich future self, so that you can manifest more money in your life. If you want to find out more about that, you can check out the link in the description. So now let's start with some simple tips that worked for me and that helped me to quiet my mind and that also worked for a lot of my Skype coaching clients. In fact, all these tips worked for my Skype coaching clients and I want to share them now with you. And the first tip I have for you is to eliminate as much external stimulation as you possibly can. When you want to quiet your mind, no matter if you want to start a meditation or if you just want to quiet your mind without going into a meditation. I want you to dim the light. Or let's not say I want you, I mean it's up to you. I invite you to do it. I invite you to dim the light, to close your eyes. And even though Dr. Joe Dispenza, for example, gives the advice to meditate while sitting and not while lying down, because in his opinion it's easier to not fall asleep, but I never fall asleep when I meditate because I'm in a different state than I am when I go to bed, but you have to experiment with that. For me, it's so much easier to dive into deep relaxation and to meditate when I'm laying down. But that's something that, yeah, you just have to experiment with it. But laying down for me works because then I can completely let go. I don't have to consciously and subconsciously think about my body and how I can keep it erect, how I can stop myself from falling down. I'm just completely relaxed and I can quiet my mind. And then don't try to push thoughts away when they come up. This is one of the biggest mistakes that you can make, especially when you want to get rid of negative thoughts and when you want to quiet your mind and say, hey, I don't want to think these negative thoughts anymore. That's why one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to meditating is that you have to push these thoughts away. But the more you resist something, the more it persists. Always remember, what you resist persists. So instead of trying to push them away, instead of doing that, you just allow them for the first couple of minutes. Because think about it, what happens when you really do not want to think about something? Let's say I tell you, do not think about a pink elephant. Do not think about it. Really, don't think about it. Of course, you will think about it because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between yes, I think about this and no, I don't think about this. Your subconscious mind only knows the object. So if you try to push these thoughts away by not thinking about them, you will only make them stronger. And this is the biggest meditation trap that you can fall into. So just allow them, allow them and then practice gratitude for the thoughts that you don't want to think, not just for the thoughts that you want to think, but for the thoughts you don't want to think. Because remember, contrast is teaching you something. Contrast leads to new desires. So whenever you have negative emotions, negative thoughts that stop you from quieting your mind, or at least you think that they stop you from quieting your mind, give thanks to them because they are the basis for your evolution. Instead of being angry and allowing your mind to run around in circles, acknowledge this thought and thank the universe for giving you this thought. Without the self-hating thoughts and the limiting thoughts that I had in the past, I would never be able to have so much empathy for my Skype coaching clients who go through the exact same process. And that's why I'm so happy that at some point I decided to be grateful for these negative thoughts. And that's when they go away. And experience music with all your senses. Most people nowadays listen to music in the background or while they are working, which I admit it, it's also something that I do. But I don't do it when I want to quiet my mind. And it always fascinated me when my dad, for example, played a CD 
and he was just lying on the couch and just listening to the music. I always thought it's weird until I realized, hey, that's also a kind of a meditation. Because when you do that and you really listen to all the voices, all the tonalities, every beat, every music instrument, this is a form of quieting your mind because you fully engage in this sensory experience. And that's when your mind gets more and more peaceful. And be the non-judgmental observer of the present moment. And this requires you to detach yourself from your ego. You are no longer you. You are nowhere, no space, no time. You are just nobody. You're just an entity that observes your thoughts and feelings in the present moment. And whenever a negative thought or a negative emotion comes up, you don't judge yourself and you also don't label the thought. You just let it be and you focus your attention on it. And if you want, you can also give thanks to it. And I know that sounds a little bit complicated to do, at least in the beginning. But when you practice it over and over again, it will be so easy and it can be a lifesaver for you. Because then you no longer identify with all these limiting beliefs and these negative thoughts that are holding you back. You no longer identify with I am poor. You no longer identify with I am unworthy. You no longer identify with I doubt myself. These are then emotions and thoughts in the past and they are no longer bothering you in the now and they won't bother you in the future and that's when you are free to create the life that you truly want and to manifest your dreams. And if you want me to help you with that, you can always inquire for a Skype coaching session with me. You can find the link to that in the description. And you can write down your thoughts. You can start a daily thought journal. Just by writing them down, you move your thoughts out of your brain, out of your mind onto the page. To give you a quick example, I often come up with ideas for products or for my business right before I go to bed. Because of course, that's when my subconscious mind is in this resting state and that's when I'm most receptive from the messages from the universe. And that's okay. But in the past, I thought, yeah, perfect, okay, I'm going to deal with it the next day. And then of course, I couldn't sleep because that thought was racing in my mind and I wasn't able to quiet my mind before bed, which I have to do in order to get rest. So now I just write it down, no matter if it's a positive thought, for example, an idea for a product, or if it's a negative thought. For example, when a past memory comes up for no reason at all, which then leads to me a couple of days later finding out the reason why this came up. There's always a reason for everything, but you can write this thought down and then you can quiet your mind and reconnect with mother nature. And I say reconnect instead of connect because most of us have lost connection with nature. I still remember while I was living in Bangkok and while I was sick from the noise, from the pollution and from the stress, when I decided to take a short break and to go to Jomtian Beach for a couple of days. And that was actually the time when my whole life was falling apart and I really had no money at all. And if you take a look at the presentation page of Money Manifestation Magnet, you will see the picture of me at the beach where I'm just staring at the waves. But just the process of walking through the sand without my shoes and reconnecting to mother nature, this alone helped me to quiet my mind. And this brings me to the next point. Consider moving to a place where you can quiet your mind. And I know this is a very radical step. And I also understand that one of your missions on this spiritual path is to be independent from and no longer attached to external circumstances. And I don't say that you can't reach this state of pure relaxation and of a quiet mind in any external circumstance. But why do you have to make it so hard? Because when I was living in Bangkok and I had to move three times until I finally found a condo where I could sleep because the people there are very good at terrorizing themselves with dogs, with roosters, with loud music, with loud motorcycles, just everything loud, 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 loud. And at some point I asked myself, why do I make it so hard for myself? And I promised myself if I would ever move to Thailand again, I would move somewhere quiet to the beach. And way too many people are conditioned with this belief that they have to live in a bigger city, like Los Angeles or London or Bangkok, because that's where life is and that's where they can party. And if they don't move there, then they miss out on something. That's not true. Move somewhere where you feel at peace. Move somewhere that nurtures you, where you have the feeling, yes, that's where my inner being belongs to. And I mean, when I moved to Timisoara, Romania, even though it's also a city, just the fact that there were no roosters, no dogs, no loud motorcycles, that alone was such a relief and allowed me to quiet my mind way better than I was ever able to do it while I was living in Bangkok. And another thing you can do to quiet your mind is to visualize the future you want when your life right now is not what you want. 
Let's say you actually want to move somewhere else. Let's just take that as an example. By visualizing what you want, by visualizing you being in that new place, you having a quiet mind in this new place, by doing that, you launch rockets of desire that go straight into the universe. And now you're in this creative state where you can allow yourself to manifest your dreams because you can feel it, you can sense it, you can experience it right now. And that's when the manifestation happens. And this also makes you feel better because you have the feeling that you already achieved what you want. And like I said, that's when the manifestation will happen. And if you want me to help you to manifest your dreams, no matter if you want to manifest money, if you want to manifest love, or if you want to quiet your mind and manifest peace, I'm here to help you. And if you're ready for my guidance, then you can check out the link in the description and inquire for your first Skype coaching session with me. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please send out some love to the YouTube universe by giving this video a big, big thumbs up. And I would also appreciate it if you would leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you.